My work is based on exploring the marine life of Chile and Patagonia with the aim of sustainably using it and conserving it. If we don't conserve areas of Chile and Patagonia, we are really in danger of losing the valuable biodiversity through anthropogenic impacts and climate change. And so I think this is a matter of life quality for future generations. I've started working in Chile and Patagonia about 20 years ago. The idea was first to make an inventory of the species we find, because there were many, many species that were new to science. At the start, we went diving, which is generally down to 30 meters. But compared to the real depth of the Patagonian fjord, this is like scratching the surface. With the Rolex Award, our decision was to get this rough, remotely operated vehicle, with which we can go down to 500 meters. We're doing these expeditions to these key sites, and we've been looking at animals that we find below diving depth and explore the secrets of the twilight zone, where there's hardly any light at all. We can get a much, much better idea now of the marine communities as a whole in the fjord. So we show these to other scientists and also to the general public, to the, the decision makers, so that they start to understand that Chile and Patagonia is a biodiversity hotspot and it definitely needs protection. My idea was always to try to do as many international, multidisciplinary corporations as possible. There are people describing species regularly that from the material we found. And right now I would say there are at least 70 described from the ones we found. And there are probably between 100 and 200 more that are still to be described. Based on these data, you can make models where a species could probably be found. And so this helps us also to decide where to put a marine protected area. So for us, it has made a big difference because it's really important to understand the consequences of what we are doing. And we can only understand the consequences if we understand the ecosystems that we are impacting. Otherwise, the ecosystem services are really endangered. This means the income for many, many local people, and we would lose a World Heritage Area. For a scientist, if you discover something new and show it to humanity, it's a great feeling. But still, work like this is never finished. There's always more to show, more people to reach, more papers to publish, helping to save this unique place on Earth. Mm -hmm.